Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Live the World Ministries. Listen, this is a... Uh, for those of you that don't believe um, part 7 of the temple on Ezra chapter 9, that the Israelites intermarried with the Canaanites and that they were satanic hybrids from after Genesis chapter 6. I mean, if you don't believe that Goliath, the giant, that King David, future King David faced, was a giant, well, and you think that uh, godly men married ungodly women and they had giants for children. If you want to believe that fairy tale, that's up to you. But uh, it's sort of like playing with a gun and you believe it's empty. And then you find out it's loaded and somebody gets hurt. Or you see a snake and you don't think it's venomous. And it turns out it's a viper. Doesn't matter what you think. It's still dangerous. Now, if you don't believe it, I've, I'm going to put a link in the comments and in the description to my Genesis chapter 6 study. The Angels That Sinned, Job 38, is the explanation of Genesis 6. Now, when Ezra and them told all the people that were pure-blooded Israel to divorce the people of the lands, to put them, put them away, well, if you don't think put away in Ezra 9 means divorce. Well, I suggest you read Jeremiah 3, 8, where God put away Israel, northern Israel, and gave her a bill of divorce. I mean, it's pretty plain and simple. And the only people that argue against this stuff, generally, when they've studied it out, are those who were probably the satanic hybrids to begin with. And what do you think these satanic hybrids called themselves when they were divorced and separated from the children of Israel? You think they're going to call themselves Canaanites and Hittites? No, they're going to call themselves Jews. They're going to call themselves Muslims. They're going to call themselves Christians. And if you want to see them, turn on TBN, turn on the 700 Prophets of Baal Club. Real simple. If they're, uh, you know, they call themselves Freemasons, Mace, you know, I, I don't know what to tell you. People, you know, read the the uh, the wheat and the tares. Read John 44. It, you know, people think, oh well, you know, Jesus was just calling them names. Na 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 na. You're the children of the devil. Na 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 na. I don't think so. Jesus said, I was, I tell you the truth. Read John 8, 44. Read it. I just don't get it. If you really want to understand the Bible, this is one of the most important things to understand. Ezra 9 said that there was a holy, H-O-L-Y, a holy seed. And if there's a holy seed, there needs to be an unholy seed. That's just the way it is. There's a reason why Abraham didn't want Isaac to marry into the Canaanites. There's a reason why Isaac told Jacob not to marry the Canaanites. There was a reason why Isaac and Rebekah were not pleased that Esau married a Hittite Canaanite woman. I think two. That's what you call double trouble. You know, and in, uh, I think it's Malachi 1, where God said he hated Esau. And not only that, but the people against whom I have indignation which is extreme hatred, the people against whom I have indignation forever. Read it. Why would he have indignation against him forever? King Herod, according to Josephus, was an Edomite. 
one of Her uh, Esau's descendants. When Pilate sent Jesus unto Herod, what did Jesus say to Herod? Nothing. Not one word. Nothing. He didn't tell him, believe on me and be saved. No. He said nothing to him. Jesus said not to cast your pearls before swine. Huh. But uh, people want to believe the fairy tales. So what do the Canaanites call themselves today's? In today's, uh, you know, they call them Jews, Christians, Muslims. That's what they call themselves today. See any people calling themselves Canaanites today? No. When you understand this, you understand who it was that opposed God's people when they came out of Egypt and went to the promised land. And what did God say? Oh, Moses, uh, send evangelists so that you can preach to these people and, and tell them, how, you know, I'm a wonderful God and I love them. No, he didn't say that. He didn't say anything about bringing evangelists. He says, go in there and slaughter everything that breathes. Kill everything that breatheth. Thou shalt utterly destroy them. I mean, really? Uh, you know, oh, but that was the Old Testament. That was that old, cruel, mean God. Now we got this, the New Testament God, which is Jesus, and he's more loving. But the Bible declares that I am the Lord, I changed not. The Bible says Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. And that's in uh, Malachi 3, 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Come on, people. It's not that hard to figure out. Uh, I'm going to post the playlist. Check it out. It's in uh, pinned comments, and it's in the description. You can watch it. It's probably about six or seven hours. Um, you know, the Lord doesn't change. Read Obadiah. The Lord's going to destroy Esau, Edom. And guess what? During Herod's time, Herod put a lot of money and time in the temple. And I'm going to cover that in more detail. I think it was, what, 40-something years? Jesus said, destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Of course, he was talking about the temple of his body, and I'm paraphrasing, but we're going to cover all this in the next study. They said, forty and I think 40 and 6 years have they been building this temple, and will thou rear it up in three days? You know, they were mocking him. But uh, they spent 40-something years adding on to the temple that Ezra and Nehemiah was involved in. So, and what did Herod do? He put his people in there, not the people of God. Oh yeah, there was a few, there was some godly people in the temple. Um, John the Baptist's father, according to scripture, they, they killed him between the porch and the altar. Probably because John took up, uh, John was preaching against those serpents. Oh, that's right. He called he called the uh, the scribes and the Pharisees serpents, didn't he? So did Jesus. That's not very loving, is it? No, that's not very kind. Uh, maybe you know, maybe it was a figure of speech, but maybe it had a literal application. O ye generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Wow. Yeah, we're going to cover all that. But, uh, you know, the churches work for these people. And Herod had flooded, flooded the temple with these people. 
And I'm sure they killed John the Baptist's father because they probably wanted to know where he was so they could kill him. And, you know, when your son's wandering around in the wilderness, uh, you probably don't know, <laughs> you know, where, he's, where he is, you know. Maybe he didn't tell his family everything because he was always running from the you-know-whos and they were, you know, maybe they were watching daddy and mommy's house to see when john would show up and following him around because they didn't like they didn't like john well a lot of them didn't like john the serpent seed didn't like john so you know it's, it's this is not a minor thing i mean it really it's if you it's not a salvational issue if if you don't want to believe the Canaanites were satanic hybrids, well, no problem. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt say, be saved. But when your head is in the guillotine and you've been preaching to these serpents and you can't understand why they don't hear the voice of Jesus, well, as soon as that head comes off, it won't be long before you do understand. You know, at least that's my take on it. And if I'm a teacher in the kingdom, I'm going to be happy to tell everybody. And there's going to be a lot of, there's going to be a lot of preachers that all these churchgoers think are going to be in the kingdom. And they're going to be found out to be false prophets. P-R-O-F-I-T, money sign for an S. Yeah. Because every single one of them that preaches the pre-trib rapture as a fact is going to be turned into a false prophet. And you know what the Bible said to do with false prophets? Stone them to death. No, we're not talking about legal uh, marijuana weed sales in Cal uh, Colorado or wherever. No. Supposed to use rocks, stones, flying objects, and I say we use granite. Quartz is all right too, but I like granite. Granite is, yeah. So, all right, well, that's my rant. We're going to do Temple uh, and the New Testament in the next study. And you can uh, check it out if you want. All right. Well, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen.